Ah, ne, ich bin's wieder. Okay, so nahe Haram. Hier mit meinem Let's Play von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Wo ist mein Stift? Da. So, äh, wir haben die, die Verhandlung jetzt hinter uns gebracht und wir wurden schuldig gesprochen. Wir wurden tatsächlich schuldig gesprochen. Aber wir kriegen jetzt noch äh, mal eine Erweiterung der Verhandlung, da jetzt noch mal eine Leiche entdeckt wurde und jetzt die jetzt der Verdacht steht, dass Maya das auch begangen hat und dass sie die Rebellenjägerin Lady Kira ist. Scheiße! Ach, wir weiter. Scheiße! Leck mich! Ah. 11. Mai, 1.03 Uhr. Temple, Temple. What do I do now? I can't believe Maya and I were actually found guilty. This trial need to be try need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Capability Act against the defense. Now then, this court fights the accused, Maya Fay, and the defense, Phoenix Wright. Guilty! Schande über mich! M -m 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 Mr. Wright! Albie, I saw the whole trial. What's going to happen to Miss Maya now? I'm worried about that too. But right now. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Satmadi. Yes? The stagger. It bursts the fingerprints of Maya Fay on it. Right now, I need to focus on the next trial. The murder of Acolytes a lot, right? At least the jury is still out of that one, so to speak. The two murders are most likely connected. If I can get to the bottom of Acolyte Salot's murder, it might give me the ammunition I need to overturn Maya's guilty verdict. Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you on any way I can. I appreciate it, Albi, but we're talking about a murder. Yeah, but it's going to be hard for Farina to investigate this on his own. You have a point there. Hmm. I wish I knew what to do. Hmm? Isn't that? Your benevolence. Um, Princess Rafer? Hmm? Oh, it's you again. The dead lawyer walking guilty of abetting a murderer under the Defense Culpability Act. Ugh, I see, she hasn't lost any of her charm. With the, why the long face? I thought you'd be glad I was found guilty under the DC Act. Hm. I am in no mood to take joy in your suffering. Fire was unable to defeat you and had to leave the job to others. I failed in my sacred duties as the royal priestess. I guess that answers my question. Have I misunderstood? The voice of the Mitama... yet again? This... this cannot be! All I did was defend my client. 
Uh, I can't bear to see her looking so sad like this, though. Your benevolence? Your benevolence! Hmm? Oh, Bartet. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. I'm not dead yet! I still have an investigation to do, for tomorrow's trial. What's this? Do you mean to say you have to give an, have not given up yet? That's right. I'm going to prove Maya innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Investigate all you want. I care not. You really don't mind? But aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate like forge evidence? What's this? If left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I wanted, you know? <clears throat> okay, now to see if she takes the bait. Yes, I see your point. Barbtat? Yes? I know what happened yesterday. You penetrated some sort of fraud or other misdeed while I was not watching. Huh? That explains why I misunderstood the voice of the High Priest's soul. Yes, of course, that's the only explanation. Ja. Yeah. So weit wollten wir das Ganze nicht spinnen. I was just trying to cheer her up. Now she thinks even less of me. I must not allow you to sell your sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today I will be monitoring your every move once more. I will not fail to spot your misdeeds this time. The moment I see anything out of the ordinary, I will send you straight to prison. And you, boy, do not throw your lot in which, in with this foreign devil. But, your benevolence. It's okay, I'll be. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. But first, I should probably lighten my load a bit. Albi, would you mind holding on to some evidence for me? Of course not. I'm always glad to help. No, oh, danke schön. Ist aber auch Sünde, dass ich irgendwie einem Kind die ganzen unnötigen I Items gebe. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon you. Now then, the scene of the crime is the logical place to start. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion. Gut, dann gehen wir auch gleich mal dahin. Um, da. Oh, da liegen sogar Blümchen und die Leute haben endlich aufgehört zu beten. Yay! 11. Mai, Plaza of Devotion. Looks like the police already finished their investigation. To think someone would be killed here, a place devoted to prayer. A body outline and flowers? Did someone leave them here in memory of the deceased? And there's something different about the prayer flags today. As the high priest's disciple, Acolyte Zalot was usually devoted to his training. First the high priest and now his devoted disciple. Maya Pei will pay for this. Maya Pei was? Maya Pei will pay for this. <laughs> oh, nee. As I keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this. And you can prove this. How? And what do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? You and your smart mouth. This is precisely why you and your loyally ilk are so reviled. 
Hey, Mr. Wright! Anna! It's that detective from your country again. Ah! It's the princess! You seem displeased that I'm here. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't be silly! Mr. Wright, I, I, I'm sorry about what happened to Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You were just doing your job. And if I had just done mine... Mr. Wright... But it's no use crying over spilled milk. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? It's do or die in court tomorrow. And I mean that literally. Gladly. I'll help in any way I can. Remember, I have my eyes on the both of you, so see to it that you commit no misdeeds. Of course not. <laughs> You're talking to a professional here. Nimm das nicht so zu Herzen, Emma. Sie hat keine Ahnung. Also gut. Let's see. How about starting with an overview of what happened? Sure. The victim is Puray Salot. He was the high priest's disciple. His body was discovered around noon today, right after the rite wrapped up. So, during the high priest's murder trial. That's right. Apparently, he had been here praying since the day before the rite even started. Talk about serious devotion. Yeah, I barely lasted a few minutes. This is a picture of Mr. Salat's body. Aua! Bei diesem Bild kriege ich immer noch Gänsehaut. Ich meine, guckt das euch an, wie das, wie der Dolch da steckt. Albträume! That dagger in his upper back looks like it would be been particularly painful. I don't. Hmm? Is that a tattoo on the back of his neck? It's peach shaped. Everyone started leaving when the praying was finally done. But the victim remained bent over in prayer, and when they went over to check on him, they discovered he was they discovered he was dead, right? Dass das nicht vorher aufgefallen ist? Ich meine, guckt euch das Messer an! Yes. The estimated time of death is May 9. Sometime between the start of the rite and the discovery of the high priest's body. In other words, we believe the crime took place during the purification rite. And the murder weapon was the same ceremonial dagger that killed the high priest. The prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the high priest and then stabbed Mr. Salat with the same dagger. Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya, but what about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that was last thrust into his upper back. Here's the autopsy report. Now done. Estimated time of death, you say? How can you know such a thing? I want to know! Well, Barbed Hat, out with it! Oh, so the Princess of the Spirit Medium Kingdom is interested in forensic science? Hm, I have no interest in science, forensic or otherwise. Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the common folk believe in. Tch, there's nothing silly about it. I'll have you know, even Prosecutor Sadmati holds forensics in high regard. Does he? Hmm, perhaps I should not underestimate the power of science. Still, I suppose it is nothing much compared to the Venetian seance. Oh, you don't know. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. Emma, I think she's actually interested. Would you mind explaining it to her? I guess I have to now. 
Okay, there are many ways to estim estimate the time of death. But the most well-known method uses the change in body temperature. Interesting. Body temperature drops at a steady rate from the moment a person dies. That means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring their temperature. Hmm, I see, I see. That was quite enlightening. Barb Tad, present your forehead now. What? Why? Hmm. You feel just a little over 95 degrees. It seems you are not dead yet. Of course I'm not! <laughs> it was just a jest. After all, you're still a dead lawyer walking. I fail to see the humor in any of this. Were there any witnesses? With so many people here at the plaza, you'd think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But we haven't found a single witness. How's that even possible? Because everyone was bent over, utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. Alright, the back shattering post that nearly killed me. Still, you'd think someone would have noticed something. I thought so too, but with the monk's scarf, he had no, no one could have seen the dagger in his upper back. Plus, everyone was so absorbed in prayer, they didn't see or hear anything. Deshalb sollte man Religion auch nicht so ernst nehmen. I can't believe this. What you choose to believe is your choice, but the fact remains that there were no witnesses. However, there is one piece of irrefutable evidence. The dagger. Sadly, yes. Ah. Natürlich, gehen wir alle auf mich wieder. Man, ihr seid doch scheiße. Could you tell me about the murder weapon? The killer used the Wabat Dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Kira. It was discovered and impaled in the victim's upper back. The accused's fingerprints were found on the dagger, were they not? Yes, they were. Danke. Nochmal weiter Salz in die Wunde streuen. With such irrefutable evidence, there is no question in the accused's guilt. Not so fast! What about a motive? Maya had no reason to kill acolytes a lot. What do the police think about this matter? Okay, that's motive. Maya had no reason to kill acolytes a lot. So you say. But let us know here what the police think about the matter. The police believe Maya is the Lady Kira figure who has been battling the rebels. And since Mr. Salot was the disciple of the High Priest who turned out to be a rebel, he too was likely a rebel and therefore met the same antimony demise as his teacher. Yes, that is how the police currently view this crime. There's no way Maya is that Lady Kira vigilante. I agree on a personal level, but the police are just going with that what today's trial concluded. Ah! I really blew it in court today. Super. Danke. Danke. Na ah! ah, gut. Dann wollen wir ein bisschen den Tatort untersuchen. Na? Um. Acolyte Zalot was killed in a prayer pose, with his head bent over like that. The last thing he saw must have been this rock. It is a prayer rock woven by devout monks. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon his departed soul. It's strange that there are no bloodstains though. Hmm. Perhaps it was so cold the blood froze, or perhaps it was absorbed by his vestment. 
It is pretty cold. Maybe the bug really did just freeze inside his body. Geht das physikalisch überhaupt, dass äh, noch im Innern das Blut einfach gefrieren kann? Ich denke nicht. I'll be said, these are called prayer flags. And the prayers written on them are carried throughout the kingdom by the wind. Now, if I were to pray for something, it would be for me to not get dragged into any more trouble than I already have been. Naja, eigentlich wollte ich hier das da. This prayer flag looks much newer than the rest. Um, your benevolence, what does it say here? The dearest wishes of our subject are written upon these prayer flags. Reading the prayers of others is considered rude, but if you must know... It says, at the usual spot, bring up the key too. Hmm, that is one of the more direct and particular prayers I have ever seen. I wonder if it's even a prayer. Glaube ich nämlich auch nicht. Na gut. Dann hier diese schönen Blumen. So these flowers were left here in memory of Acolytes a lot. What are they called? They are known as Namanda, and they are given to express sorrow when a life is lost. It seems offering flowers in memory of the dead is an un-universal practice. Hmm. Namanda. Okay. That message on the prayer flag seems a little weird, but I think I've seen everything there is to see around here. You have not found or heard anything of particular worth. Are you ready to give up? No, I'm not calling it qui quits yet. Does it look like you have any hope of winning, Mr. Wright? Emma, I can't really say at this point. All I know is I have to keep investigating. What are you two, what are you two sneaks up to? I would advise you to get back to work if you are done here, detective. Otherwise, I will report you to Prosecutor Sadmadi for the dere dereliction of duty. Auf gut Deutsch, du willst petzen gehen. Niemand mag petzen. Uh, I, uh, I'm going, I'm going. Well, see you later, Mr. Wright. And good luck. I should really pay a visit to everyone at every place connected with this case. Du bist so ein Herzchen. Weißt du das, Rafa? Not. Egal, positiv oder negativ, werde ich mir gerne gesehen. Das war's mal. Also, wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr guys.